What's up, gamers, and welcome back to PH Gaming Central. The wait has been paid off for Pixie as she has been released and ready for use in Marvel Super War. We can buy her at 22,888 points or 676 star credits, including the Uncanny X Men uniform. We had a discussion from my last video regarding her skill analysis, and today we can definitely see her ability effects in training mode. For her passive, she gains fairy energy when moving or using blink skills. Once full, the basic attack inflicts a slow effect on the target and enemies behind. Ability 1, she releases magic dust in a specified direction, slowing enemies and then explodes after a brief delay dealing additional damage. Ability 2 is a teleportation skill in which she can deal energy damage to enemies in range and returns back to her original position. In training mode, it is now evident that she can walk, but she can move using her dash kill. We can also use blink tactic to move as well. Ability 3 is a dash kill in which she gains shield for herself and allies in her path. Before, the trailer did not show the shield for her allies, but now we can definitely see the effect to her allies. The skill can also go through the walls. Her ultimate is a knockback skill and it's best to use when enemies are in close to one another. For the item build, I think the most important for her is the regeneration cradle as it increases her shielding effects by 20%. It depends on the team dynamics whether you want to build a support item or energy item. Now for the items, I managed to set up based on what role the hero is supposed to be. I have the damage build in which I included the following. Regeneration Cradle for increased shield effect, Martyr Boots for energy penetration, Anti-Matter Cannon for lifesteal, Virus Cannon for additional basic attack damage, Eye of Agamotto for the active skill as a scapegoat, and One of Batum for increased percentage damage. Next is the support item. We have Regeneration Cradle for increased shield effect, Hydro Boots for physical defense, Deathly Panther for energy shield, Starlight Armor for physical defense and additional basic attack damage, Eye of Agamotto for active skill as a scapegoat, and Cloak of Levitation for enemy ability immunity and reduce enemy energy resist. Last is the Harass which is a default build for additional EP and durability. Now for the core, if you're using the support role, we can use the default support which I believe is the best for her. Especially for the isotope which gives additional damage to her and ally upon casting the shield. Suppression particle for additional damage and lowers armor and energy resist by 10%. Spell cast boost for additional energy attack. And restoration module for restoring 10% HP and EP upon enemy KO or assist. If you want to use the energy type, we can use the default energy. The main isotope creates a vortex of energy damage upon casting the ability. Strike particle for 4% additional damage when your HP is below 70%. Spell cast boost for additional energy attack. And restoration module for restoring 10% HP and EP upon enemy KO or assist. Now for the tactic, Link will be our main tactic. Then the second can be either Dispel, First Aid, or Paralyze. Now, I'll show you some quick clips of my gameplay. I respect others' opinion that she's more of an energy type than support. That's why I tried to use energy build on this game. And there you have it! Thank you so much for watching! 
please let me know if you have better setups so that we can share it to the community and have a competitive yet enjoyable gameplay. Kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Until next time, ciao!